This is a demonstration of some improvements to the yaw handling for tilt vectored uh, quad planes. So what we've got here is the Race Griffin uh, real flight model, uh, quad plane model. This is a, um, a tilt vectored model. Um, so if I move the rotors like that, you can see how the front two rotors tilt forward. Um, it's the usual arrangement for a, a tilt rotored vehicle. Um, and uh, so what we're going to be doing is demonstrating three different things. First of all, I'm going to fly the current master code, which is the old strategy for this type of vehicle doing a transition. And I'm going to fly it with um, a, a value initially of a tilt max of 45. And this is the default value, and this is the sort of value that we've normally recommended using with these types of tilt vehicles. And with these low tilt angles, the existing your transition method does work. It's not great, but it does work. So I'll just show you first of all what happens with that. So we're going to uh, pop into auto mode and arm the vehicle. And it's going to take off and then do a forward transition heading up towards this waypoint up here. Right, now it's going to the forward transition. And a few things you'll notice, it was a little bit wobbly. You can see there the path, the yaw went off a little bit. And it did, it was in control. Um, it did manage to, to transition reasonably well. And this is the sort of transition that people have been getting with these types of vehicles up till now, as long as they set a nice low value for that uh, Q tilt max. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'll let it finish flying that course and come back and land but I'm going to be changing this parameter, the Q tilt max, up to a much larger value. Let's put it to say 75 degrees. Now the reason why people want to use much larger values here is it allows them to get past the transition much more easily. So by tilting to a much higher angle during the initial part, th th this, this angle is what is the angle the rotors will get to until we get to the transition airspeed, until we reach uh, past stall speed, past the speed that it's basically controlled and flying on the wings. Um, so if we set a larger value there, then that means it's able to put more of its thrust into forward thrust before it reaches full airspeed. And that means that you can have a wider range of vehicles and heavier payloads, and you can get through a transition more quickly. But the problem is that um, our tilt vectored code really didn't handle this very well at all. So what I'm gonna do now is write that parameter, and I'm gonna fly the vehicle with a 75 degree tilt max with the existing master code without the improvements that I'm gonna show you next. So uh, what I'm going to do is reset the mission like that, and then we are going to arm the vehicle. And watch carefully what happens when you use a large tilt angle with the existing master code. And it barely got through the transition. It did get through it, but just barely. And uh, and sometimes it won't get through it at all, and sometimes the vehicle will in fact crash. Um, so um, we really don't handle those high tilt angles at all well. All right, so, and you can see there that there was considerable departure from the desired uh, angle. And in fact, I'll, I'll go one step further, um, and I might set up an even higher angle and so I'm going to set now, say, a um, 85 degree angle. All right, and do a right to that. Great. And we'll wait for it to come back and land back here again. My vertical altitude, by the way, is in feet. I was still set up for another project where I used feet. Normally use meters. So I'll wait for that to finish landing. All right. 
So that will now disarm in a couple of seconds. And then I'll restart the mission. Restart the mission. And I will arm it again, this time with an 85 degree tilt angle. And we'll see whether it manages to uh, transition this time. And you can see there a really violent yawing and really unhappy transition. And sometimes it doesn't get through that transition at all with a high tilt angle. All right. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to uh, restart the, the vehicle. And uh, what I'm going to do is just restart it on the ground. And I'm going to run now the new version of the code. So this version of the code is an open pull request that um, I've just uh, submitted and which I hope will be uh, included in the next version of the RG Pilot code. This was inspired by some work that was done by Chris um, and uh, many thanks to Chris for the discussions on the development of this feature. And all right, so now what I'm going to do is it started up and it's now running the new version of the code. And I'll just show you the parameters. We now have, if I refresh the parameters, we have an additional parameter, Q tilt your gain, which is the gain for doing vectored yaw during the forward transition or back transition for that matter. And I'm going to leave this Q tilt max at 85 degrees. All right. So now we're going to pop it into auto and arm the vehicle. And it does a smooth transition. And if you'll notice that the path is nice and straight, and then it curves around for the next waypoint, no problem. So it now is able to handle a very large tilt max without losing stability, use, losing your control in the forward transition. It also assists somewhat to a lesser degree in the back transition. Um, so we'll just watch it come in for this back transition here for a landing. All right, here it comes. And it's starting to descend. all good. All right, so that's the uh, the changes for the new your control in transition of tilt vectored quad planes. Hope you enjoyed it and happy flying.